How's it going guys? JTF here and welcome to My Football Shirt Collection Part 1. Now, obviously I'm waiting for a few shirts to come since Christmas, so I'm going to make a Part 2. Uh, obviously, I got some shirts that i got to dig out and I just can't be bothered. It's New Year's. Uh, but yeah, if you could drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, much appreciated. Helps me grow. Check out the rest of my videos on my channel. And let's get into this. As you can see, I have four shirts hung up behind me. There's four of my favourite shirts I have in my collection. I got the Hummel's top from 2014 or 13 at Dortmund before he signed for Bayern first time. Got the 99-2000 United shirt, which I got off my dad. Uh, so the away shirt, I'm not sure what year that away shirt is, but it's still United, a legendary old school shirt, and I'm really a big fan of it. Then I got the pink Real Madrid shirt from a few years ago. Um... It's just a really nice shirt, isn't it? There's not much more you can say about it. There's a few more Madrid shirts I have. Got quite a few Spanish League shirts, apparently. I've lost a few shirts as well along the way. Don't know where the hell they've gone. But we're going to jump in with the first shirt of my collection that's not hung up. And it is this Spain World Cup shirt, I do believe, from a few years ago now. It's just quite a nice classic Spanish shirt. There's not much more you can say about it apart from it's red. It's a nice little stripe on it. I like this shirt. Obviously, I got the United Gold shirt on right now. It's just a very nice shirt from last season. I got it in the sale for like £20. You can't argue with that. Next is this Cardiff City away, uh, away home shirt, I believe, from a few years ago. Before we went back to uh, our, our original colour with our new badge. You can see it's got the old badge on it. This is a season after, I believe, we got relegated for the first time. And, as you can see, it's just very plain. A very strange sponsor in Causeway Sports. Nothing on the back, as you can see. And, yeah, I got this on eBay for £3. I won it on bids, no one else billing it. So, I won it. And, I have to say, I was happy with the purchase. Do you want me to see me do some football shirt collection videos? Let me know in the comments down below. Then... The classic Bayern Munich shirt. I bought this a few years ago. Um, after Christmas. I remember buying this one. Oh. It just reminds me of Schweinsteiger this shirt. And I'm a big fan of it. Unfortunately. There's nothing on the back. But as, that doesn't matter. It's still a great shirt. I would like to add a few more Bayern shirts to my collection. But yeah. I'd like to add a few more Bayern shirts to my collection as well. I'm a big fan of them. I like buying in real life. Do like Dortmund a bit more. But what can you do? And speaking of Dortmund, got this uh, Borussia Dortmund. Unfortunately, it's in a small man, but I got it on eBay for quite cheap. And it's the home shirt from the 14-15 season, I believe. But what makes it better is it's got Blaszczykowski on the back. I know it's the wrong way around, but Blaszczykowski... The guy is a top bowler, was a top bowler, but this is for sale on my Depop if anyone's interested. Is that for £20? Uh, I've heard, message me on here, find my Depop, it's at uh, Mystery Shirt FC, because I'm going to try and start a business. But yeah, if you want to have an interest, have a look at it. But we're rolling on to another yellow shirt now, which is kind of a theme. Is this Cardiff City Away shirt from when we were in the Premier League. It's just a very nice top, if you ask me. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the back. But then, I don't know who I'd even got on the back, because we were terrible that season. Especially after we sat Malcolm McCoy and brought Oli Gunnar Solskjaer in. But, oh, um, nonetheless. But nonetheless, it's still a good shirt. Bright, colourful. You can't go wrong with it. Or, the only problem is, it's red. Red badge, not good. Now, one of my favourite shirts in my whole collection, which most likely should be hung up, but it's a bit scagged from when I've used it, is uh, this River Plate shirt from 2014, I want to say. Just look at the detail on it. It's just a lovely shirt. Nothing on the back. It took me age, or my auntie age, just to find the shirt for me for when I was younger, for Christmas. But you have to say, it's a lovely shirt. It deserves to be in my collection. I remember... I bought this shirt on FIFA 
I'm helping my team for about 20k at one point, and it was the best coins I ever spent on that game. But yeah, rip up late, buying shit. Moving on. Right, so we're moving on to the Barcelona away shirt from 2015, 16, I believe. But it's from the new camp on a school trip. I know. Uh, I mean, this is just an amazing shirt. I most likely should have got Messi on the back because I don't have a Messi shirt. I'm making sure I change that very soon. But we've got Andres Iniesta. And I want to get a Vissel Kobe shirt with Iniesta on before he retires as well. So there are two shirts I need to add to my collection. a Messi shirt and a Vissel Kobe Iniesta shirt. But it's just... Ugh. It's really one of the best shirts around. It's a nice colour. The nice logo on the front. The badge. Oh, it's just a great shirt. Even got the Champions League badges on it. So it makes it a bit different, a bit unique. Also got a legend of the club on the back. That's not messy. Great shirt in my opinion. Cost me a lot of money at the time. But yeah, Barcelona, great shirt. Now, this is a, quite a... Well, I don't know if it's rare, but you tell me. But it's a Man United shirt. From the 2014 season, the David Moy season, if it any, with the Premier League winning badges on it, which, God, we haven't seen that in a long time. And then, Juan Mata on the back. Now, I was at his debut against Cardiff, and he was amazing. If only Juan was still in his prime, but what a shirt this is. What a guy Juan Mata is. It's unfortunate what happened since the club, but... I'd like to see him get a Premier League winner's medal of United. And it could happen this season. 21 is coming. But, good shirt. Don't wear it enough. Forgot I had it till the other week. But, still a good shirt. Now, we have another Cardiff City shirt. It's the first shirt when we we're ever in the Premier League. It was signed. But, unfortunately, the signature's um, worn off. It's by Jordan Much. Uh, the signature was around by here somewhere, but it's washed off because I was uh, naive and I wanted to wear my shirt. Um, but yeah, wasn't the biggest fan of this shirt because of this, I have to say. But you got used to it. Those days of being a Cardiff fan were so good, man. Jordan Much is my favourite player, by far. It's just unfortunate what's happened to him in his career, what happened to Cardiff, even though... Neil Harris isn't the guy to take us forward, I believe. It's getting better at Cardiff nowadays. I have to apologise for my hair as well, that is terrible. But yeah, Jordan Match, baller at the time. Went to Palace and QPR, never happened for him. Went to America, never happened. But he was so good for Cardiff. Him and Peter Wittinger in the middle, amazing. And there's the shit. Now, I do a lot of looking around on M&M Direct, obviously. Good football shirt de uh, deals. And I found this little beauty. It's an orange uh, FC Nuremberg away shirt from the Bundesliga 2 now. Which I just find it, I think it's a nice shirt. You know, I've got the blue like outlines with the orange. The nice sponsor in the middle. The badge, I really like the badge. I do like this club. My favourite team in Germany is either Dortmund or St. Pauli. I need to get a St. Pauli shirt. I just haven't ever bought one. I'm not sure why. But it's a good shirt. Nothing on the back, but it's from m and Direct, what you expect. Cost me like £9. And it's just a nice shirt to have. I wear it quite a lot, just around the house. And you can't really go wrong with it, can you? £9, m and Direct is the place to go. Now then, I do watch a lot of games in other countries, as you probably can tell from the shirts. Um, I got this one from the Bernabeu, this top. Uh, you might have seen me go to the uh, Allianz, the Juventus Stadium. In a video at the start of my channel views or videos. That's one of my regrets that I never properly vlogged it. But who cares? It's still got Ronaldo scoring a goal. Well, it was what's so bad about that. But we have this Real Madrid shirt from the 2014 season. I went to watch a game against Osasuna. I think they won 4-0. Morata scored a goal, I know. But unfortunately, there's a snake on the back in Di Maria. Obviously, supporting United as a snake. But I do rate the guy highly. And he was my favourite player at the time for Madrid. So there you go. I got him plus 22. My favourite number. The number that means the most to me. So it seemed like a no-brainer. But, you know, 
things happen, people become snakes, and it is what it is. But yeah, it's just a beautiful shirt, the orange trim, the black, the La Liga badges, oh, it's just such a good shirt, man. Now then, this Atletico Madrid away shirt, I love this away shirt. Unfortunately, when I was in Madrid that time, went to go for a stadium tour and the stadium was bloody closed, I know, nightmare. But the shop was open, convenient, and I got this, uh, well, uh, Athletic, well, Atletico Madrid away shirt for the 2014 season, and it's beautiful. It's got Coke on the back, Coke, uh, Atletico Madrid legend, still playing, and I'd like to get a new Atletico top with Saul on the back. I rate that guy so highly, but it's still a beautiful shirt. And it's never going to leave my collection. It's just an amazing, amazing colorway. I'm very happy with this shirt. But yeah. I feel like in Madrid, I always have nice shirts, nice colors. The away kit this season is especially nice. So maybe I'll invest in that. But, goodbye Athletic, you've been a good shirt. So that's going to be it for this video. There'll be a part two coming soon with a classic football shirts uh, delivery. So I'll make sure I get that to you very soon. The background might change by the time that video comes out. I might be back in uni. Depends what obviously COVID-19 does. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. I've been uh, JTF. Please like and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you next time. Peace.